Welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Google Sites again. Uh, I thought I'd do a festive themed video. We're going to be creating an advent calendar using buttons created in Canva. So those of you who've tuned into other videos I've produced will have probably seen my adding buttons created in Canva to Google Sites. So very similar sort of process. From a, a size perspective, if we dive into Canva first of all, very straightforward. If I go home, I can choose to create a custom dimensioned button. So let's click on that. My suggestions for a width of a banner would be 1150 width by 300. Gives you a nice size banner. And then having got your plain banner, you can search for images that images that can fit with that. So if I type in there, and you've got a variety of different things available to you. If you choose to, you can alter the colors of those elements. I'll just have maybe a Christmas jumper. And you could put some text in there as well. And obviously, for those not familiar with Canva, you can adjust the size of the icons. And you can also adjust the colors as well, if you see fit. So there you are. When you're ready, you can click download. So I've already created a banner. And here it is. And I click download and I can download the PNG. So that's creating the banner for your site. To create the buttons, going back to the start, do custom dimension. Now for the buttons on the site, I want to have 24 buttons for my advent calendar. So I'm suggesting a size of 150 by 70. So quite small, but that will allow them all to appear on the page without someone having to scroll if they're viewing it from a smaller screen. So again, create the new design. Again, go on to the element section I and mean, search for Christmas again. You can choose a component. I click on the plus, I can get the code of that component. And then go to background. And I can just choose a color. Now I can either put in the code or I can pick up colors from elements I've included elsewhere. So I'm happy with that. I can then just add my text. And then having added the text that I want, I can position that where I, where I want it. I can alter the color of that. And then to make the other buttons, I just duplicate the button and change the number. So you go through that process. And then when you go to download it, you download them as a zip and then you've got your buttons. So we've now got both the banner and the buttons. So we jump into Google Sites. So we access it via Google Drive and new Google Sites. We're going to name it as Advent Calendar. And then when you roll your mouse over the banner at the top, you can change the image. So upload an image. So I've got my banner image in place and just preview that. And 
it'll do its adjusting for readability. If you don't want, you can remove the adjustability. So I've removed that. I also don't want any text on that part, so I've removed that. So I've now got my banner there. So next comes to adding the pages. So come up to the Pages tab, down to the bottom, click plus to add a page. I'm done. Again, I don't want a, a title on the page because I've got my banner, so I can just remove that. And I can add another page. So we'll just click at the bottom, add page. keep adding the pages as we go through. I'll wait for that to catch up. So we go back to the home. We're now going to add our buttons. It's waiting for the site to catch up. So to add our buttons we go to insert and image. Uh, so it's now it's creating the pages for us. We go upload image. And we've got our buttons appearing there. And you can see there are our buttons. So I'm just going to cancel that a sec. We're going to go back to the pages. Now we want the first page to appear, but we don't want the subsequent pages to appear. As far as the order, we can just drag the pages up. We want them to be a sub page. We can just move them around. So to hide the navigation so it doesn't appear at the top, if we click on the little dots, we can hide navigation and do the same with that as we don't want people going ahead of the page. So again, we'll hide navigation. We'll keep page one there so that allows them to get to the home section. We'll then click onto the home page. And now we're going to add our buttons. So we go back to insert, images, and upload. And you can use one of their layouts. I just like to upload them individually. And then repeat that process. Insert, image, upload. And you keep repeating that process. So we're going to add just the top row in. So on to button number three. And you see it's positioning them just as you want it. Keep going, further images, upload, four. Five. And six. So I'm happy I've got enough there. For the moment I can obviously add some more all the way through, but for the purposes of this we've got our buttons in place now. And then it's really straightforward. We can click on the button, we can add a link. And we can either link to one of the pages within the advent calendar or if we wanted to link to an external site we could put our link in there so link that to page one and apply if i go back to my pages navigation i can click onto the pages and i can start to add content i find that things that work really well are google drawings but you could have bed codes you can put in videos you can put in all sorts so if we were to go to to drive, we could look for a particular file type. So look for images. And we could insert that. You can also add links to those images, you can crop them. 
and you can add other components as well. So we could embed a presentation. So again, we go back to drive, file type and choose presentation. And we can position that moving it around as we see fit if we click onto it we can make it bigger go back to the home page and then it's very straightforward all you need to do is add links as the days go through remember to publish the site your published site and then every day you just need to release extra content having populated all of the pages in advance so you can see at the moment only the first button works when I click on that it'll take me to my content this is a great way of adding a Christmas theme to sharing your resources with your students or maybe getting colleagues to contribute a range of resources and techniques and then sharing them throughout the December period as I did with my colleagues at the college where I work. I hope you found the video useful. If you like the video please remember to subscribe and join me again soon for more EdTech videos.